Hey there and welcome to a new video. In today's session, we will solve an Amazon SQL interview question. First, let us go through the question. So we are given two table. One is an order detail table and the other one is a customers table. Now we have to write a SQL query to find the top three customers who spend the most in their first month of making an order. So this is an important point to consider in this question. Now the result should include the customer ID, customer name and the total amount spent by the customer in their first month. So that is the question. Now let us go through the table schema. So we have already created the two table. The first table is the order underscore details table. Let us execute and see what is the schema given. So we have a table where we have order ID, customer ID, order date and order amount. So this is the first table which is the order detail table. Now moving on to the second table which is the customer table let us see what is the schema given so customer table has got three column the first column is customer id second column is customer name and third column is the sign up date that is the date on which the customer has signed up for that particular platform that is the third column now i have created the expected output in excel let us go and see what is the expected output so this is the expected output that we are looking to obtain so we are given to a table this is the customer input table and this is the order detail table from this we have to obtain the customer id and customer name and the total amount spent by each customer in their first month of making an order and also make sure that in our final result we only require top three customers that is when we once again go through the question we can see that we have a condition which is given that is we have to only find the top three customers who spend the most in their first month of making an order so that is the question now let us go back and write a query to get the expected output. So we will start with a select close. Select. In the first part, we are going to calculate the month corresponding to which each customer made their first order. For that, we are going to make use of the order detail table. So star from order underscore details table. Now, for writing the next function, let us execute the query so that we can see the data. Then, based on that, we can write the query. So, here is the order detail table. Now, we will select only required columns from the order detail table. So, we require customer underscore ID, which will give us the customer ID. And then, for each customer ID, we have to find what is the minimum order date. So, for that, we are going to make use of minimum aggregate function, minimum of order underscore date. So, this is the function that we are going to use here as first order date so this will give us the first order date with respect to each customer and since we are using an aggregate function we will have to make use of the group by close also so group by will be based on the same column which is the customer id column now execute and we will get the minimum order date with respect to each customer that is the first order date with respect to each customer also, we can either join the customer table here so that we can get, get the customer name from the customer table or we can join the customer table at a later stage. So now we are not going to make use of the customer table. We will use the customer table at a later stage only to get the customer name. Now we will consider this query as a sub query. So we will consider this query as a sub query. Now based on this query, we will write a select close where we are going to obtain the month year with respect to each customer. So for that select. The first column is customer underscore id and the second column we are going to make use of a function which is the date name function date name open close parenthesis and copy the first order date column from the sub query and the first argument should be the date part which we are looking to obtain here the date part is month that we are looking to obtain and this is the first column and again we are going to obtain one more thing which is the year part from the first order date date name open close parenthesis copy the first order date name and the argument that we are looking to obtain is the year year and the second argument is the column itself which will give us the year and month with respect to first order date also we will have to write a from close and give an alias name to the sub query execute and we will get a result where we have customer id the month corresponding to first order date and the year corresponding to first order date also, we can give column name to the two individual columns or we can either concat the two columns and keep that column as a single column. So here we are going to concat the two columns. Concat. So the first argument will be the month. Second argument will be a hyphen. Then the third argument will be the year part, which will give us month year. 
month underscore year. So this will be the new output that we are going to get where customer ID and this is the first order date month year. Now we can consider this query as a CTE. So with first order date as so the CTE name will be first order date. We will place the entire query inside parenthesis and this will be considered as the first CTE which give us the month year corresponding to first order date for each customer ID. Now we will make use of the CTE first order date and the order detail table to get the records where we only have record corresponding to the first month each customer is making an order. So for that we will make use of the select clause select from order detail table copy this. Now we will give an alias name as O. We will create an inner join inner join onto the first order date table first order date. We will give an alias name for the first order date table and we'll write the join condition. So O dot customer ID equal F dot customer ID and the second join condition will be based on month year column from the CTE first order date that is F dot month year column and we will create a similar column in the order detail table. So for that we can copy the same function copy the same function paste it here and now instead of first order date we will write order date order underscore date which will give us the order date from the order detail table also give the proper alias o dot o dot order date here also it will be o dot order date now execute this and we will get the records where customer is making an order only in their first month now execute starting from the CTE execute and we have the records for which customer is making an order only in their first month now from here we can easily get the amount that each customer is spending in their first month so in the same query we can write the aggregate function and get the total amount spent by each customer so customer underscore ID and we will write the aggregate function so before writing the aggregate function provide a proper alias so it can be either o dot customer id or f dot customer id both will give us the same result so here i am going to write o dot customer id i am fetching the customer id from the order detail table now sum of order underscore amount order underscore amount as total amount total underscore amount and now we will write a group by close group by O dot customer ID O dot customer ID execute and we will get the amount spent by each customer in their first month of making an order execute and we have the total amount spent by each customer in their first month of making an order now we have to obtain only top three customers from this result so for that we will write a top three in the same seller close and we will write a order by close order by the total amount so we will copy the column name which is total amount and will be in descending order now execute this and we will get only top three customers execute and we have top three customers who are spending most in their first month of making an order now we will place this query also in a CTE so that we can obtain the customer name also so max amount spent so that will be the CTE name max amount spent as open and close parenthesis and we will write select we require all the columns from the previous CTE that is max amount spent and we require only one column from the customer table so we'll give an alias name as M and we'll create a left join left join with the customers table and the join condition will be based on M dot customer underscore ID equal c dot customer underscore id now we have to slightly modify the select clause so that we get only required columns so m dot star which will give us all columns from the max amount spent cte and c dot customer name which will give us the customer name before executing this make sure to add the on before the join condition so now execute and we will get the required output execute 
now we have the required output where eva diana and bob are the three customers who are spending most in their first month of making an order and corresponding customer id is 5 4 and 2 and this was the output that we were looking to obtain the same question can be solved using window function you can try the method on your own this is another method of solving the question using joins only hope you like this video thanks for watching and subscribe for more thank you